Hi, in case you are currently pursuing your bachelor's in chemistry or master's in chemistry, trust me, watch this video till the end. I am absolutely certain that this is going to be of great help. Okay, I'm going to discuss uh, the concept of standard deviation today, specifically focusing on how to go about and solve numericals based on standard deviation. Let's get started. Standard deviation is a very important analytical concept, okay, analytical chemistry based concept. Uh, we represent standard deviation as sigma, okay. Let's start with the formula. It is basically square root of summation xi minus x bar, the whole square divided by n minus 1, okay. This is the formula. I will talk about the terms, but first let me tell you two major mistakes which I used to do as a student, okay. First of all, not applying the square root to both the terms, okay. I used to have in mind that the square root is only for the numerator. No, it's not. The square root is applicable for this entire term, that is your numerator and your denominator. Second mistake that I used to do is not putting this particular square over here, okay. If you don't put this square, uh, in some cases, you may end up getting negative answers and then that is a big issue while going ahead and solving questions based on uh, standard deviation. Okay, so this is the formula you need to buy heart this first, yeah. Next, we need to know what are the terms, okay. So we have the term xi, yeah, we have the term x bar, and we have the term capital N, okay? Xi over here uh, represents the values that you have. So maybe you're doing a, a particular experiment wherein you're getting your readings in mLs or you know, you're, you're getting the readings in grams or you're getting the reading in moles, okay? So whatever readings you're getting, that will represent Xi. So it can be X1, X2, X3, depending on how many readings or observations that you're getting, okay? So Xi is nothing but uh, your observations, the values that you have obtained after doing your experiment okay x bar over here represents the mean i will tell you the formula to calculate mean in some time okay and n over here is nothing but number of values that means number of observations that you have taken in a particular experiment okay now just imagine i'm doing an experiment wherein i have three values like i took three observations okay and my readings are in grams okay so i'm just randomly taking small numbers so i can show you the method and the substitution okay so just consider that uh, i've done an experiment and i got the following values two grams four grams and five grams okay so these are my three values so this is x1 x2 x3 that's what i mean when i say xi okay Next, what I have to do is, first thing, always when you are dealing with standard deviation, you have to calculate the mean, okay, which is re represented as x bar, okay. Now, what is mean? How do you calculate mean? All you have to do is add all the values or the readings that you got divided by the total number of readings that you have, okay. What are my readings over here? 2 plus 4 plus 5 and how many values, how many observations did I take? 3. So, 2 plus 4 plus 5, the whole divided by 3. This will be 11 by 3 and this answer will come to 3.6. This is my x bar, which is nothing but the mean. Okay, this is how you calculate mean. So if you have 5 observations, add them up, divide by 5. If you have 6 observations, add them up, divide by 6. Okay, that's all. That's all that you have to do for mean. Okay, next, what I do is I do not jump to the formula directly because I know that I mess it up. Okay, instead of uh, directly going to the formula, I make a small table, a very simple table very quickly. Okay, so what I do is I write xi, okay, I write x bar, I write xi minus x bar and last what do i write obviously xi minus x bar the whole square this simple method of using a table has sorted out uh, all the problems of standard deviations for me because this way my brain can interpret it better the data and guys when you are having such uh, problems it's usually you have a, like a large number of like readings you know but i've just taken three so it just looks uh, a bit simplified for you all. okay let's quickly fill the table uh, xi or i already have two grams okay four grams five grams correct x bar i've already calculated it's just going to be one value which is 3.6 okay now what do i do xi minus x bar right so it's going to be 2 minus 3.6 correct 4 minus 3.6 and it's going to be 5 minus 3.6 so quickly write down these values over here and uh, remember in this particular column some of your values may be negative Okay, but the negative sign is obviously going to get away because we are going to square it. Yeah. So over here I will get minus 
okay over here i will get 0.4 and over here i will get 1.4 Okay, I've already done the calculations, so don't think that I'm a, I'm like a human calculator. No, okay, I have done it uh, on a rough uh, page. Yeah. Lastly, all I have to do is just square these values. Okay, which values am I going to square? These values. I'm going to square these values. So 1.6 ka square will be 2.56. Negative sign will go away because I'm uh, taking a square of it, right? This will be 0 0.16. Okay, and this will be 1.96. Done. Now, in my formula, what do I re uh, require? Summation of x i minus x bar the whole square. Summation meaning the sum of, right? So, I need to add all these three terms, okay? You just have to add them. Remember, you are not dividing them by anything. So, the summation of this will come to 4.68, okay? Now, what I have done, instead of calculating, uh, sorry, instead of uh, substituting all these values in my formula, I have just narrowed it down for me, okay? So, last step, I am just going to rewrite the formula sigma is equal to square root of summation xi minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1. What is my summation value? First put the square root. Never forget the square root. Okay. So my summation value is uh, 4.68. Okay. Divided by n minus 1. n is 3. 3 readings I have taken number of values. Na? So 3 minus 1. So this will be square root of 4.68 divided by 2. This will be do this division first. So this will be root of 2. 3, 4 and root of uh, 2.34 is equal to 1.529, okay, 1.529, yeah, uh, this you can just round it up to 1.53, this is going to be my standard deviation.